Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Oh, we're gonna snail it today. All right, so I ordered a couple of things from Maniology and I just wanted to show you, maybe do some nail art. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Uh, but I got, I saw they had some new base coats on the set and these are peel off. Yeah. So we have white peel off base P151 and black peel off base P152. I hadn't seen these before. And um, right now, the only peel offs I use usually that are colored are hit the bottle. I have white undies and black undies. Love these, they work amazing. And I mean, we can get into a whole thing, What, why I use peel-off base coat. My peel-off base coat won't stay. It only stays for a few, like a couple days. I can't get past two, three days with peel-off base. It's, 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 in the, it's in the title. It's peel off. It's supposed to peel off. I only use it when I'm like doing this, doing swatching, and I need to take that polish off quickly or that mani quickly to move on to do something else. Or I just don't want to hassle with glitter and and acetone. Trying not to use acetone as much as possible because I am like always exposed to it. Um, and then they have a seven-in-one potion base coat. I think it is um, straight. I don't know. I'll have to put the list up here of what all it is because I don't really remember. But. For ridges, it's supposed to be really good for ridges, which I really don't have, but a lot of people do. So I thought I would test that out because I am completely naked. And you don't even know. Maybe I don't have pants on. I I'm not telling. Maybe I'm sitting here without a shirt on, too. Um, and Kraken. I think I have this um, dark blue. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm sure that I do, but I got it because my daughter had been looking for a dark blue and she took one of mine and I figure I'll just give her this one um, if I have it already because I think that I do. Um, I went ahead and got some of their um, scrapers, card scrapers, although I'm really rethinking it now. Like, they're really pretty. They're cute. Um, they are like the strength I want. They were Halloween. They're so cute. But I like the little ones. And I thought that's what these were. They were like half, you know. So I might do that. I might cut them in half. I don't know. Back to the bone. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh, that's cute. Obviously, I did think that they were like just the half size ones, but these are really pretty. And then I got some stickers, some glow in the dark, spooky spiders that there's some little stuff on here that I think that um, I can put on Lucas's nails. I think those will fit. The little bats are so cute. They're just, they're cute. These are glow in the dark. And then they had some adorable sugar skulls. Yeah, I like them. Okay, I'm not keeping this a secret anymore, this this mat, because I feel like everybody that's going to buy it already knows what's in it, the box of magic, and I'm not going to worry about it anymore. Um, I don't think I'm going to stamp. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. I think we're just going to try these out. Um... And I'm going to see how long it takes for them to dry. So this one I'm going to use on my right hand. Um, I think my nails are clean. They were. Maybe not now. Uh, I was prepping and getting ready to do a video here. And my husband called me outside to help him with the lawnmower. Ooh, I like this. Uh, this nail I crushed when I was a teenager. And it always has a split here and is kind of a mess and 
and just until the last couple years I've actually been able to grow the nail back out without it splitting so this is really nice I don't know it has a um, a different kind of formula to it it seems like it's pretty thin but then it applies it's thicker oh, that makes no sense Kylie. Um, yeah that is nice we'll see how it dries and see if it leaves a texture I don't have really texture like I said except that one nail so we'll see how this dries right, that's been five minutes and that is dry it's dry to the touch feels a little tacky but that's that's fine that's what you need for a base coat all right let's move on peel off mm, base coat probably gonna have to film this for like a couple days we're gonna do white on these two and black on these three why not First, let's see how opaque it is in one coat. Not real opaque, which that's fine. Because I don't know if I'm going to want to put another color over it. Um, now compared the Hit the Bottle is more opaque. Um, it is pretty much, if I remember right, one coat. Yeah, it is more opaque, but that's not necessarily an appeal off base coat. Mm, a deal breaker for me. The deal breaker for me is, is it going to turn yellow? Made a mess there, didn't I? hit my elbow too. Alright, so you see it is more opaque. I, I, I don't really care about that. Um, if I was just going to do white, maybe the hit the bottle with it being more okay, opaque would matter to me. But uh, at this point, I just don't think it, it matters to me. Uh, let's check out the black and then maybe um, let me grab my hit the bottle black too because I know it's opaque too also in one coat I'm going to say the hit the bottle sometimes is kind of hard to apply because it's so opaque and thick ooh ooh well that is impressive Mr. Black peel off base coat. I'm very impressed with that. And here's the black undies. I have had this like for a long time. I don't know. I've replaced these bottles several times. I've bought new. Um, it does stay really nice though. It doesn't really get thick. And let's see. This one's the hit the bottle. And I mean, very comparable. And I again am making a mess. One coat for that too. I knew that was. What have I got? Oh, I think that's just leftover polish. Thought it was like Cheeto dust or something. I can't even remember the last time I ate a Cheeto, probably like years, so it's definitely not Cheeto dust. It does take a little longer for peel off base coats to dry because it's usually a water based formula. So, are they going to do a clear peel off? That would be good. I would like that. Oh, man, I just did not clean that polish that was on there on my nails. Very good. Uh, oh, all right. Okay, let's let's try this because we're in real time right now. That is 
dry. So I'm going to put another coat of that one on. Um, it has been about five minutes, I think, six minutes since I applied that first coat. And the second coat is still not as opaque. So I don't know, is that a deal breaker for you? Again, is it for me? I don't know. And I do have a discount code for Maniology, Guideline 325. You get 10% off. I do not have one for Hit the Bottle. Now they are based out of Australia. Michelle is a fabulous person, very sweet lady. Um, you know, it's small business, which I mean, technically, I mean, an independent business, so is Maniology. Um, but I buy Hit the Bottle stuff, I buy from Lantern and Wren on the interwebs. <laughs> they have a lot of different um, indie makers and plates and they have their own brand too. So I'll put their link below too. But that's where I buy since Michelle is based in Australia. I buy Hit the Bottle stuff from um, Carly at uh, Lantern and Wren. Okay, that still is not as white. It's just not as white as hit the bottle but I know that so like if I'm going to be using just white base coat I will use hit the bottle white undies and otherwise so far I mean I like the way this applies though this yes, Skyline, of course you have Kraken you crackhead I already have Kraken so Casey is going to get the Kraken <laughs> no it's still not quite like at this point, all I care about is, is it going to stay white? So I will wait a couple days and then come back here and uh, add to this video uh, how it peels, how it lasted, like wash my hair and um, just give it a couple days and see how they last. And I'll stick these stickers on and um, come back when I'm ready to peel them off. Uh, I'm using my um, toe tweezers. <gasps> it looks more like a hoof, actually. It's a hoof. Um, to put these on. Ooh, that might be a little big. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Did you get it on the straight? Probably not. I mean, does it really matter at this point because that pretty much is as big as my nail. And I got it crooked, but that's alright. And I'm sorry to say, this is only going to be available if you buy the entire box of magic. And I love this because it is firm this end of it but a little you know still silicone -y. it is so good for smoothing out stickers even if you put them on crooked okay next day took a shower washed my hair blue drum hair we have cas casualty don't know where I lost it <laughs> but that is the hit the bottle black the rest are so far so good second man down uh, I was just grocery shopping that one was the Maniology white base. Well, we have all five gone now. Uh, my hands were in gloves doing dishes and making my husband a cheesecake for his birthday, and I lost the rest. <laughs> so, one day. All right, as uh, you just saw, they didn't last. Uh, not even 24 hours, and I actually did not get any pictures. <laughs> before it peeled and I should have as soon as I got out of the shower and realized I had lost one I should have taken pictures um, at least of a couple of nails with the stickers so I went ahead and put stickers on these and they are so cute love these stickers they still stay holographic if you put regular uh, top coat on them and I just used glisten glow okay 
So as we saw, this did not last, but I still like it because it did its purpose. It peeled off. Uh, my purpose for peel off base coat is to peel off quickly. Um, now normally if I want it to last a few days, what I'm going to do is put a regular base coat on first, then put the peel off over that. Um, not all companies will recommend doing that. Um, that's the only way it sticks for a few days for me. Um, this Vanessa Molina, I really like this. It's just like liquid latex and it's very thin. You put it very thin and it sticks best for me. Um, but I really like this and normally I'm going to put just a thin coat anyway and then water marble, glitter, whatever, polish over the top of it. Um, this was just peel off base coat on my nails. It wasn't another color over it. So, I mean, I really think that if you did a thin coat of this over a regular base coat, that's still going to peel off any glitter or any, you know, um, most people just use peel off base coats because um, they don't want to mess with glitter on with acetone. It's a, it's a huge pain in the butt, this stuff huge pain of the butt, but uh, yes, it's beautiful, but ugh, no, not without a peel off. I'm not using that without a peel off. Not going to happen. So anyway, I do really like it. I do recommend it. Um, and you know, I don't know this stuff. I really like too. it. The polish applied great over it. It was smooth and beautiful. So I do like that even though I don't have ridges. And that's another reason that peel off base coats don't really stick to my nails because I have nothing for it to stick to. My nails are, as you see, pretty shiny and I did not buff or anything first. All right, I'll shut up now. Thanks for joining me. Um, stay tuned for a little fun video here at the end. Bye. What is it? What is it, Penny? What is it? Okay. And stay far away from the scary, scary tractor. What's Daddy doing? Oh, oh she's back up a tree. Too bad Lucas isn't here. He would have fun riding on that with Papa. All right, here's a bunch of me, like I sped it up really quick because I was a total disaster and couldn't figure out which lever did what, when, and um, finally I was like, just take it back. <laughs> and here's Tom, somebody that actually knows what he's doing. <laughs> I had no idea. It was fun though. <laughs>